Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back with another Sneaker Shop Talk video. We've got an unboxing. Um, you can see what it is. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. <clears throat> now, you can see it is obviously a black Jordan box. <coughs> see the box tag here. You can see it is the Air Jordan 14 Retro S. The Air Jordan uh, 14 Retro S in the black Varsity Royal and Chrome colorway. Uh, the style number is BV7630004. <clears throat> so let's open it up and see what we have here. <sighs> Oops. The Supreme 14 here. Of course. Supreme stickers. <coughs> Wish that logo wasn't slapping on enough things. But anyway, here we have it. The Supreme 14. So, <coughs> yeah, as you can see, I'm. I mean, I'm not going to do a full-fledged review. Um, just going to kind of give you a quick rundown of the shoe here. Now, <clears throat> decent decent suede. I'm not going to totally bag on the shoe. Um, you've got leather side panels uh, here. <clears throat> There's the Supreme logo on the Jumpman. Turn it down at least so you can see the, you can see what the 23 and another here. <coughs> and <coughs> that, you've got Supreme there on the front, 14 on the back. And hopefully you can, let me try to turn it where you can see it. There's Supreme there. Uh, and a Jumpman logo there inside the shoe. <coughs> My thoughts on this shoe. For those of you who may not know, <clears throat> who may be new to my channel, um, the Air Jordan 14 is my favorite Jordan of all time. It was my first one, and it will always be special to me. These are an abomination. It is, it, it's an insult to that great, great silhouette. <coughs> I don't even know where to start, but first of all, the, 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 the bedazzling of the shoe, the studs on the side. I understand the story. Okay, Jordan wore a jacket in 95 or whatever, and then it had this. <clears throat> you know what? I'm sure he wears underwear, too. Do we need a, a un underwear pair of Air Jordan 1s? Oh, Lord. We're not giving them ideas. There'll be some Hanes Air Jordans coming out. But, uh, <coughs> this shoe is awful. That, I mean, that's really the best way I can describe it. The shoe is is just awful. Because, you know, hold, hold, hold. Okay, sorry about that. <coughs> but, the 14, in case people, this is, don't understand, in case people don't understand, I'm sorry. That this is an historic shoe. This was the shoe that for all intensive purposes, MJ was wearing when we last saw him as we knew him on an NBA court. Wizards years notwithstanding. Those did happen. But <clears throat> to see, to, to, to understand what happened and where that silhouette sits, especially in my mind, and then to see it turned in into this. This 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 is this is awful. And for it to be two hundred and forty eight dollars, my God. But I understand that's the supreme tax. It is what it is. But <clears throat> to butcher this shoe like this is unconscionable. It's unconscionable. Like I don't even consider this. In Air Jordan 14, even, <coughs> I can, oh goodness, like, when I think of the 14, this is what I think of. This 
is what I think of. This is what I think of. Okay, not this. And <clears throat> to, to see this, it's just disrespectful. It's disrespectful to a great shoe with a great history, with little things like, <clears throat> for instance, a lot of you, you may or may not be aware that the, the t <clears throat> excuse me. See, I'm, I'm so mad, I can't, I'm, I'm befuddling over my words. But there's 14 jump men on the Air Jordan 14. If you didn't know, follow me, I'll take you on a tour. One, two, three, <clears throat> four, five. Now look closely for these two, people will miss them. See if I can. Let's see if it'll, the camera will zoom in, cooperate with me. But anyway, <clears throat> there's two on the aglets here. The camera's not going to focus in. If I could spin it around, you could see it. <clears throat> ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Six and seven. You, you add the two shoes together, you have 14. <clears throat> it's little things like that is why I really, really like this shoe. And to see it turned into this is just awful. It's just awful. It's just insulting. And um, yeah, here it is. <clears throat> so this is the Air Jordan 14 Supreme. Um, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Man, if they're going to butcher this, if they're if they going to butcher a shoe like this, maybe they, shh, don't give them no more. Oh, uh, you know what? Give them an Air Jordan 1 to do. Maybe they'll jack that one up so bad. Maybe we'll see uh, a severe curtailing of the already over-bastardization of that silhouette. So, that's all I've got. I just wanted to do an unboxing and give my thoughts on these um, <clears throat> I'll be back with more videos real soon here's one last cut shoe here There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Unboxing of the Supreme Air Jordan 14 in that black and blue colorway. So, thank you everyone for spending a few minutes with me on this video. I'll be back with more videos real soon. Peace. <laughs> and uh, Jordan Brand. So, um...